Hello, reading kids. It's Vivian from Lolobis Library. How are you? Today we're reading. Sometimes I'm Bumbalu, by Rachel Vale, illustrated by Yumi Hio. Enjoy. My name is Katie Honors, and I'm a really good kid. I smile a lot because usually I'm happy, and I give excellent hugs. I brush my teeth without being reminded too much. And I can velcro my own shoes, and put my toys where they belong, including the ones with sixty forty eight small pieces. I remember about using my napkin, and the magic word. What is the magic word? You're right. Please and thank you. I don't whine or stomp my feet or growl, even if my brother knocks down my beautiful castle. I just built, and I told him not to touch it. I'll never be able to get it to look that good again. Sometimes I can hold in the tears and the pushes, and just say, "That's okay." Wow, she's a good example. Can you do that too, kids? But sometimes I'm bumbaloo. I show my teeth and make fierce noises. Oh, let's go hide. My face is crunches tight like a monster's. I use my feet and my fist instead of my words. My toys end up all over the floor, and so does my brother. Oh well. It happens sometimes. There is a lot of yelling when I'm bumbalu and some pointing at my bed. Oh,、uh、oh, is she in trouble? To your bed, Katie. I have to go take some time for myself. And think about it. But when I'm bumbalu, I don't want to think about it. I want to smash stuff. I think she's scary. I can come out when I'm ready to control myself, and say. I'm sorry to my brother, but while I'm bumbalu, I'm not sorry. I'm angry. I hate everybody and everything, even my dog, Vanilla, and my penny collection, and my blankie, and my mother, and all of the clothes in my drawers. What? She scattered all her clothes. Oh oh. On their way out of the drawer, a pair of underpants lands on my head, like a hat. When I laugh, I'm Katie Honors again. <laughs> I think she's back to herself. That's better. 
and I'm sorry, and a little frightened. It's scary being Bombaloo. My mother knows that. Now I think she's sad. She remembers that she made a mistake. She hugs me and helps me clean up the mess Bombaloo made. And then, after some sorries and kisses for my brother, we built a new castle together. The end. Hey, reading kids! Did you like the book? Thank you for reading this with me. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you don't miss a video. Bye-bye! See you on the next book!